Successful communities create strong career opportunities for their residents and train a talented workforce for their businesses. Academically, Johnson County residents lead the state in education. According to the latest data, more than 95% of Johnson County residents are high school graduates, and more than 51% hold a bachelor's degree or higher, the highest ranking in Kansas. And right now, thanks to some innovative programs in Johnson County Public Schools, high school students can gain real job experience and prepare for a variety of careers before they have to choose a path. It's just one more way that Johnson County provides more options and more opportunity. A group of Shawnee Mission High School students is getting a taste of real world experience here at the Broadmoor Bistro. It's one of the signature programs that prepares students for specialized academics and future career opportunities. Broadmoor Bistro students run this restaurant. They create menus, cook, bake, and are in full control of the weekly dining events. The culinary arts and commercial baking instruction prepares these students for careers in food preparation, restaurant management, hospitality, and more. Another popular signature program is biotechnology. Students in this program get hands-on experience with computerized equipment that's standard in research laboratories. Biotechnology students work alongside professionals in the field gaining valuable experience through job shadow and internship opportunities in real labs. Other signature programs in the Shawnee Mission School District include animation and interactive media, international baccalaureate, legal studies, medical health sciences, and Project Lead the Way, a pre-engineering program. Students will come away from these programs with invaluable experience, leading to successful 21st century careers. A group of students in the DeSoto School District is getting hands-on experience in maintaining a home, holding a job, and even running a business. They get these important skills at Access House. Access stands for Adult Cooperative Community Education Services and Support. It's the DeSoto School District's program for students aged 18 to 21 with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Access House is set up to simulate apartment living. Students learn how to clean and maintain a home, do weekly grocery shopping, make their own lunch each day, and provide laundry service for the DeSoto School District. Students are learning about business by running a dog treat company. They make three flavors of treats and sell them online. Access students also get experience working in the community. They have job placements with current business partners, including DeSoto Library, Starbucks, Marriott Hotels, and the DeSoto Fire Station. With the help of a job coach, they learn how to work and integrate with the community. Through this program, DeSoto is helping this group of young adults learn skills that will help them lead productive and independent lives. A couple of years ago, when I was in high school, a library, which is known as a media center today, like this one at Spring Hill High School, was where we sought out information. All right, I don't have to tell you that high school was more than a few years ago, and things have changed a bit since. In today's world, students get their information from the internet, which of course requires a computer and other access to get there. As one of the county's high-performing school districts, Spring Hill has leveled the playing field when it comes to access to technology. Every student between grades 6 and 12 in this district now has a MacBook Air laptop for use at home and at school. Spring Hill has deployed one-to-one -one technology to ensure students are ready for college, career, and life after high school. Our teachers here have spent quite a bit of time receiving specialized Apple training and building the use of laptops into their curriculum. Specifically, the hope is that these laptops will improve student success in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematic areas, as well as lead them to higher level thinking skills. And mastering programs like Microsoft Office Suite and Google Tools will play essential roles in college and career readiness for these Spring Hill students. 
It's hard to match the real-world experience available to students in Blue Valley Center for Advanced Professional Studies program, also known as CAPS. The Blue Valley School District has partnered with area companies like Bear Animal Health, Garmin, and Black & Veatch, who actually help write the CAPS curriculum for this innovative program. This ensures that students are always learning the latest skills and preparing for the most in-demand careers. Students in the medicine and healthcare strand get hands-on experience in healthcare, sports medicine, and veterinary medicine. They also have access to tools like a patient simulator and human performance lab. The engineering strand gives students problems to solve for local and national businesses in a wide range of fields. These include chemical and mechanical engineering, aeronautics and astronautics, robotics, and others. At the heart of the CAPS program is professional mentorship. These one-on-one -on -one relationships give students valuable insights into their field of interest and teach important lessons on how to behave as a professional. Blue Valley's CAPS program is nationally recognized and is now being replicated by school districts across the country. Imagine graduating high school with real-world nursing experience and the proper certification to enter the workforce as a certified nursing assistant. This is one of the many ways the Olathe School District's 21st century programs prepare high school students for high-demand careers. Olathe District students in the CNA program practice their skills at the Olathe Health Education Center, thanks to the partnership with Johnson County Community College. Students master taking vital signs, safely transporting patients, and bathing and changing linens for bedbound patients. From there, they move on to real-world experience at the Good Samaritan Skilled Nursing Facility. At the Olathe Advanced Technical Center, students gain experience for careers in fields like automotive technology, construction, and welding. Other programs help prepare students for post-high school education in fields including aerospace and engineering, e-communication, environmental design, sports medicine, and more. The Olathe School District was the first in the region to offer this level of workforce development at the high school level. It continues to help students on the path to 21st century jobs. There are more pathways than ever before toward a successful and productive post-high school life. And the pathways that make up Gardner Edgerton High School's career and technical college preparation program give students here valuable hands-on experience in a variety of industries. These students are getting hands-on training with power tools, construction machinery, and learning how to interpret blueprints. Other Gardner Edgerton High School pathways lead to careers in post-secondary education in accounting, marketing, web and graphic design, photography, interior design, and more. Career and technical classes incorporate higher math and science competencies into the hands-on skills they get to learn and master in class. Gardner Edgerton also offers a college credit program for students in the alternative school and is the only high school in Johnson County that offers post-secondary courses to at-risk students. Students in Southwest Johnson County are getting valuable hands-on skills to help them become productive members of the future workforce. Johnson County schools are ranked among the best in the nation, and these programs are an integral part of the county's success.